If you intend to connect to a progress database using any of OpenLink Software's universal data access drivers, you need to know some basic information about that database. First, it's a good idea to always know the exact version and patch level of your progress database. This is handy if you ever need to troubleshoot what appears to be a compatibility issue between our products and progress. It also helps you identify the correct product that uh, you would need to connect to progress. You must know whether or not progress is running in sockets mode or shared memory mode. And you need to know whether or not Progress is accepting SQL 89 or SQL 92 um, connections or both. So what we're going to do here is we're going to tell that into the machine that hosts the actual Progress database. I'm going to ask you to the operating system user who owns the Progress database. In our instance, that's Progress we are going to echo the uh, DLC environment variable. The uh, DLC environment variable points to the root of the progress installation. And here it's actually set. Now what we're going to do is we're going to CD into that directory. And we're going to cat the uh, progress version file to check the exact uh, version and patch level. And here we see that it's Open Edge Release 10.0B05. The next thing that we want to do is we want to access the actual database log file. That file is going to have the most relevant information that we need to establish a connection. And our database is housed in the WRK10B directory. Now the database.log file typically has the name of the database and has a .lg extension on the end. If for any reason you have any issues opening the database, it may be because the, uh, the database is in uh, use. The database log file is in use. So what you want to do is you want to make a copy of the log file and then open the copy. And you'll note that I'm setting my term variable uh, so that I don't have any display issues. What you want to do is you want to scroll down to the bottom of the log file and you want to determine the last time that the database was actually started. If you start at the top of the log file uh, and you just read the entries at the top, the database may have actually been stopped and restarted. So the information that you obtain wouldn't be valid if it was started in sockets and stopped and restarted in shared memory and vice versa. This section of the log represents the last time that our progress database was started. If you'll notice, this log indicates the database was last started using TCP as opposed to shared memory. This is very important if you need to establish a SQL 92 connection to your progress database using our UDA data access drivers. If it was not started in sockets mode, the alternative would be shared memory. That would be suitable if you were using one of OpenLink's uh, older SQL 89, also known as uh, 4GL format uh, data access products. But in the instance of Progress 10, you always want to ensure that it's running in, in sockets mode. Here we see some more information about the database version. This actually identifies the, uh, the actual database name. You may want to double check if you have multiple databases on your machine with similar names. And what we want to do is we want to find the actual socket parameters that this database uses. Here are the socket parameters that are of interest to us. 
This shows the host name that was associated with the database when it was started up. And here, this is the local host name of O plus AIX3. This represents the socket service that the database uses uh, to listen for connections. This value here, Pro10B, is an entry in the local Etsy services file and it's paired with the TCP port. You need to know the name of the socket service, Pro10B, or the actual port number associated with the socket uh, service name. TCP, again, this is the uh, network type. TCP indicates sockets, and if the database was running in shared memory, this entry may say disabled or may not appear. Finally, we want us to establish whether or not the database is accepting SQL 89 connections or SQL 92 connections. The, this is the line that you would look for. The line may vary if you have an older database, say uh, prior to, to 9, the, the line may look a little bit different. But this here, this 4GL, states that the progress uh, SQL 89 schema is accessible. This is the schema that you would connect to if you are going to be firing progress triggers. If you're used to uh, distributed connectivity to multiple databases using one DSN, this is the schema that's going to give you the most flexibility with array data so that you can break the data out into uh, field at one, field at two. So this is what you'd want to connect to if you want to use the older SQL 89 style format. The SQL uh, designation is for databases that are running in SQL 92 mode. And this allows our SQL 92 drivers to connect and uh, issue the latest SQL 92 queries. Now if in this instance the database is running in both 4GL and uh, SQL mode, so our SQL uh, 92 drivers can also connect to that. Now that we know this basic information, we can use this information to identify the product that's appropriate for our connectivity needs to our progress DBMS. We know whether or not it's connecting in uh, sockets of shared memory that also points to the product that we do need to connect to this DBMS. And because we know whether or not it's running in SQL 89 or SQL 92 mode here, designated as 4GL or SQL mode, we know what capabilities we can expect, what functionality we may or may not have when we're connecting to that database. This concludes this presentation.